friends, it's me, Tori. You know, I'm trying to go fishing, but I'm having kind of a hard time. Have you guys ever been fishing before? Well, when I fish, I fish with a fishing pole. But the thing is, I'm trying to break the record for the most fish caught in one minute. But uh, I'm kind of having a hard time because I can only catch one fish at a time. Do you guys know of anything else that I could use to help me catch more fish? Hi, Tori. Oh, hi, Net. What are you doing over there? Oh, I'm just trying to catch some fish. I'm actually trying to break the record for the most fish caught in one minute. But I'm kind of having a hard time. Wow, that's cool. But you should try using a net. A net? No, I've never used a net before. And technically, my way is working. I just have to catch fish faster. Well, Tori, a net is made to help you catch more fish at one time. Mm, I don't know. Well, how about this? Instead of telling you, let me show you by using a story from the Bible. Okay, I guess. It all started in Luke 5, 1 through 11. One day, Jesus was standing by the Sea of Galilee. The people crowded around him and listened to the word of God. Jesus saw two boats at the edge of the water. They had been left there by the fishermen who were washing their nets. He got into the boat that belonged to Simon. Jesus asked him to go out a little way from shore. Then he sat down in the boat and taught the people. When he finished speaking, he turned to Simon. Jesus said, go out to do the deep waters. Let down the net so you can catch some fish. Simon answered, Master, we've worked hard all night and haven't caught anything. But because you say so, I will let, the, I will let down the nets. When they had done so, they caught a large number of fish. There were so many that their nets began to break. So they motioned to their partners in the other boat to come and help them. They came and filled both boats so full that they began to sink. When Simon Peter saw this, he fell at Jesus' feet. Go away from me, Lord, he said. I am a sinful man. He and everyone with him were amazed at the number of fish they had caught. So were James and John and the son of Zebedee, who worked with Simon. Then Jesus said to Simon, Don't be afraid. From now on you will fish for people. So they pulled their boats up on shore. Then they left everything and followed him. So how does that story help me? Well, Simon was sure he wasn't going to catch any more fish that night, but Jesus asked him to try something new because he knew better. Sometimes we have to let go of how we think things should be done and trust that Jesus knows better. Oh, I see. Maybe I should let go of the way that I catch fish and trust that using a net might be better, even though I haven't tried that before. You know what? I think I learned way more today than just about catching fish. Earlier, I was being pretty stubborn and didn't want to accept any help, even though it's pretty clear the net knew better. After listening to the Bible story, I think I can actually apply this to my own life. Maybe instead of trying to do things my way, I should look to Jesus as an example. Because following Jesus is better than following myself. Let's pray. Jesus, thank you so much that you are an example for us in the way that we should do things. We love you so much and we're so thankful for you. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, you guys, I'm going to try fishing with this net because it sounds like a lot of fun. I hope to see you next week. Bye!